Welcome back to Infigan friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and engaging system of equations. We have x plus y plus z equal to 6, x square plus y square plus z square equal to 18, root x plus root y plus root z equal to 4, x, y, z belongs to real numbers. So let's get started this video by writing one powerful algebraic identity. It is a plus b plus c whole square. Formula is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. So I will apply for x, y, z equal to 6, x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 18. So let me put over here, so I can write this formula for x, y, z as per our problem whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 times xy plus yz plus zx. So let us put the value. Here I will be writing 6 square. Here I will write 18 plus 2 times xy plus yz plus zx. So 6 square is 36 equal to 18 plus 2 times the same bracket. So I can consider 2 times xy plus yz plus zx equal to 36 minus 18. So 18 divided by 2 both sides will be having xy plus yz plus zx equal to 9. Now, if you will see only equation 1, sum of roots, I am talking about one cubic equation whose roots are x, y, z, then we are having sum of roots taken two at a time. Only thing is missing the product of roots. So my target is to find out x, y, z, the product of three roots of the cubic equation. So let me find out how it would be. I will use now equation number 3, the third one. Let us consider. I will write root x plus root y plus root z equal to 4. Consider squaring both sides. So I will be writing whole square. Whole square. Now I will apply formula a square so x b square so y c square so z plus twice of I will write a square root x y plus a square root y z plus a square root z x equal to 16. Let's put the value of x plus y plus z equal to 6 here. So equation will become 6 plus twice of bracket equal to 16. Take away 6 from both sides. So I will write twice of bracket. Let's write this time root of xy plus root of yz plus root of zx equal to 16 minus 6, 10. So from here we can get root of xy plus root of yz plus root of zx equal to 5. This is very important equation in the calculation process of x, y, z. Now I will consider squaring once again. So let us consider squaring once again of this equation. Let's consider. So I will be writing x, y plus y, z plus z, x. a square plus b square plus c square is done plus 2 times ab. So I will write square root x y square z plus square root bc. So I will be writing y z square x and third term I will write x square or z x square y and right hand side is 5 square 25. Now in place of x y plus y z plus z x as per our first equation, it is 9. 
let me write here x y plus y z plus z x which we calculated 9 so i will be writing here 9 plus 2 times now you can see if i will take a square root x y z common then in bracket it would be square root y plus square root z plus square root x left equal to 25 now i will put this value this is 4 so i will write here root of x plus root of y plus root of z equal to 4 in this place so it equation will become 2 times square root x y z times 4 equal to 25 so it is 9 plus 8 time square root x y z let me write here 9 plus 8 times square root x y z equal to 25 take away 9 8 square root x y z equal to 25 minus 9 16 square root x y z divide both sides with 8 it will be 2 squaring both sides we will get our required product of roots as 4 now major task is done only we have to form one cubic equation using beta's theorem so i can write here sum of roots sum of roots taken two at a time two at a time and third one is product of roots okay let's write the equation first sum of roots clearly given in the problem x plus y plus z equal to 6 taken two at a time x y plus y z plus z x this equation we calculated 9 now third product of roots so x y z this value is 4 now i will presume one variable t for which sum of roots 6 sum of roots taken two time 9 and product of roots 4 so let me frame equation t cube minus 60 square plus 90 minus 4 equal to 0 now let's solve this cubic equation for the value of x y and z so let me write here t cube minus 60 square plus 90 minus 4 equal to 0 now i will use rational root theorem so you can write plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 4 eligible factors of constant coefficient leading coefficient plus minus 1 so let me put t equal to 1 easy addition of all the coefficients 1 minus 6 plus 9 minus 4 is this true yes minus 10 plus 10 equal to 0 so that means t equal to 1 will be the base solution for this cubic equation now i will use synthetic division method to find out remaining two roots this one is base solution let me write all the coefficients of cubic equation the coefficient of t cube 1 coefficient of t square minus 6 coefficient of t 9 constant coefficient minus 4 leading coefficient we will write as it is now we have to take the product of these two 1 times 1 1 it would be minus 5 1 times minus 5 minus 5 it would be 4 1 times 4 4 0 here we are having coefficients for quadratic equation so if i will write this equation equation would be t square minus 5t plus 4 equal to 0 now i will use shridrachar formula factorization method is also available let's apply shridrachar so i will be writing t square minus 5t plus 4 equal to 0 
t will be equal to minus b so 5 plus minus under the root b square so 25 minus 4ac so 16 over 2a so 2 it will give us 5 plus minus square root 9 so 3 over 2 5 plus 3 over 2 8 over 2 4 5 minus 3 over 2 2 over 2 1 and our base solution was 1 so let me write here the final and overall solution of this cubic equation 1 1 and 4 and what is t t is basically it is roots of cubic equation in t so what i will write here x y z so x y z will be equal to 1 1 4 or because equation is symmetrical so i can write 1 4 1 we can write 4 1 1 i hope this video is meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye friends till next video good luck and take care of yourself bye bye